f of x equals, uh, again, we need that fraction in parentheses. That's important, especially when we put this into the calculator. And, uh, we, you know, let's see if we can find three or four values to put on this graph, which should help us to understand what's going on with it. Now, just so we understand, uh, regular exponents, if, if the base was not a fraction, we would expect the line to look, uh, you know, it, it would go through 0, 1. This one should be pretty close, but we would expect something like this right here, okay? Now, of course, we're not going to see something like this, but... So when we see fractional bases, we, we, we're going to expect it to kind of reverse like this. So kind of, I may have drawn that poorly with the x-axis right there. But, you know, something like this, okay? And again, the, one of the other major points on this is going to go through this point zero one. 1. So, yeah, let's, let's get to the graph then. And, yeah, we'll expect to look like that purple line. So um, I'm going to choose x values. And right off the bat, I see in the exponent I got x plus 2. And I'm, I'm doing this with a little analysis in the beginning on purpose to kind of make things easier for us because if I can make that exponent a zero altogether, then I know that the corresponding y value would be one. Anything to the power of zero is one. But what value of x would make that zero? It'd be negative two. So that, that brings us to negative two, one right here. So that purple graph that we showed is just shifted a little bit to the left. Now, whether you knew, knew that or not doesn't matter because let's say that you just started with kind of what we generally start with, like zero, right? Well, then you got one six to the power of zero plus two. And if you put that in the calculator, you're gonna get uh, one over 36. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what that decimal is, but it's super small. One over 36, 0 0.02, right? I mean, 0 0.02, you can't even put that on a graph. Zero, 0, 0.2, boom, it's really close to zero right there. Uh, and in fact, if you chose one, it'd be even smaller. So that's one over, man, that's really small. 0 0.004, I mean, how are you going to put this on the graph, right? So hopefully by the time you reach some, some really small decimal, you see that it's getting smaller and smaller. If you continue to increase the x's, you're going to expect these uh, y values to get so close to the... Um, to the x-axis, okay, which means from the point that we have, negative 2, 1, you're going to expect this to get really, really close to the x-axis. And again, that's not my best line, but I feel like I'm going to keep it anyways. So I want to see some, some behavior of this curve going to the left. So I'm going to go one more x value to the left, which would be negative 3. And uh, so I'm going to type this into the calculator, right? So, you know, use parentheses with that fraction, but then it's a negative 3 plus 2 on this. So in my calculator, what do I get? Um, fraction, oh, I forgot my parentheses, 1 sixth parentheses, uh, negative, oh, exponent, dang it, negative 3 plus 2 in the exponent, and I get 6. Negative 3, 6, boom, there we go. And in fact, that means that if you use the negative 4 on this, you should get 36. Uh, and I'm not going to go through the calculation just because it doesn't fit on the graph anyways. So, you know, if we're going to put this up there, it's going to start going upwards. That's, that's not great, but it'll work. So this is about what the graph looks like, something like this. Uh, you know, if you're doing it by hand, that's good. But, you know, when you're doing this on a homework, it'd be on a computer. So all you'd need really is like these two points. And yeah, you're not able to graph these um, fractional ordered pairs. So you're going to need those two. Uh, and again, maybe on the homework, they may extend this upwards to up to 36, but I don't think they do. So you got a couple values to choose from right there.